let's just talk about different types of shocks and there are six types of shocks so this video will be in two parts so in part one i'm gonna teach you guys first three types of shocks so number one my friends is hypovolemic shock so when there is a significant amount of blood loss or the fluid leading to the issues where the circulating volume decreases and inadequate tissue perfusion that is called as hypovolemic shock hypo consider it as low simple mnemonic to remember it LHB. L means loss of blood. H means hypovolemia or hypovolemia can be associated with dehydration. And B is for burns. The second type, my friend, we have is called as cardiogenic shock. This happens when the heart cannot pump enough blood to meet the need of the body. And this happens because of the heart problem. Simple mnemonic to remember this. CHAMP. So C for cardiac arrest, H for heart attack, A for arrhythmia, and M for myocarditis and P stands for pump failure, septic shock. So septic shock is caused by severe infection and leading to the systemic inflammatory response and organ dysfunction. You guys know before the patient goes into sepsis, patient goes into the state of SIRS and SIRS is a mnemonic, I'm gonna give it to you. S stands for patient is having severe infection. R response to that infection, S stands for sepsis. So all those conditions can lead the patient into septic shock. And always remember early recognition and the treatment with the antibiotics and fluid is the key in saving the patient. Now let's just move on to video number two. Comment under the section and tell me did you like this video.